If you want to comment on this video, please join my Discord server. Link in the description. This is Hunter Tube back again, and today we are doing a review on another one of my Christmas presents. And it is right in front there, so that's why it's aiming down. And you already know what this is, so I'm just gonna show it off. And it is the Cave Collapse set. So, yeah, as you all know, I got this for Christmas. Anyway, so here it is. And of course, it's from Digs and Discoveries, even though she never appeared in it. Although, she was on the DVD, so I can see why it's promoted as Digs and Discoveries, but U.S. people won't understand because they don't have the DVD, so Boo Mattel and Boo Universal. So either way, it says up here that you can blast through the cave, and then up here you can see the boulders are falling, and then there's a faded Thomas there and one there, and he's over there on top of Darcy with a 3D face. But what do we get in the toy? A sticker! Either way. So yeah, and then in the corner we have Thomas, Percy, and Nia. I'm surprised for all the Digs and Discoveries merch, they didn't do Thomas, Gina, and Lorenzo and Beppe. More like Thomas, Gina, and then Lorenzo and Beppe in the corner there. More like just Lorenzo. Like they did for Big Old Big Adventures where it was Thomas, Nia, and Young Bao. But anyway, off to the corner here, it shows all the rock design, and it also goes up to the top. Then there's a picture of the set, and then we have Thomas and Darcy. At least she's not trademarked. Also, one thing I don't like about this box. What was the purpose of this track here? For one, Darcy isn't even lined up at the track. She, she's not even centered with the track. And, and Darcy's not even a rail vehicle. Yeah, so I don't understand why they made this model, but uh, I like it nonetheless. But yeah, this model is pretty bad though. Either way, let's, here's the side of the box, shows all the parts and pieces. Here's the other side, shows another picture of the set and then that. And now let's look at the back of the box. So here is the back of the box, and of course there's Cave Collapse set. And here it says, when the cave collapses and boulders crash down, Thomas and Darcy become a digging duo. Darcy knocks down the boulders as she and Thomas ride through the crumbling cave. So, yep, there's the playset. And here it says, turn, crank, descend, Thomas to the top. And it shows that. And then over here it says, Thomas drops onto and powers the digger. Why didn't they say empowers Darcy? Th that's weird. It says Darcy the digger swats away the falling boulders. W why do they call her a Okay, never mind, she is a digger, but she's a tunnel digger. You should put Darcy the tunnel digger. Either way, it says digs and discoveries in the corner here. And where's the bucket of spilt toys? All I can see is that there's something green up in that whatever in this bucket up there. I think it's Henry. Anyway, now that we've looked at the box, let's get these guys re-unboxed. Coming in for the re-unboxing, get away with this. And here's Thomas. Boop! Come out, you boulders. And now it shall take some work to get Darcy out again. And since it's going to take some work to get Darcy out again, I'm putting the GoPro on the stand here. There's one, and uh, there's two, and Darcy is free, and goodbye box. Alright, so here's the playset all set up, but before we look at the set and all the characters and things, let's look at the instructions. So here are the instructions, and I am not going to crumple these ones. But, but look at this. Darcy is all yellow. Her drill thing is yellow. Her, she has no face. She has no nameplate. 
that's weird. Sometimes the animation on instructions are weird. But yeah, but it also came with a sticker sheet and all that. And then the one time snaps and then here's the inside. Put it together. How to play. And more assembly. Putting the batteries in. And then the back. Yep, that's the instructions. Now let's look at the characters. Alright, so here are the characters and other things that come with the set. So first, let's look at Thomas. So, you may be thinking, this is a stock, standard, nothing special Thomas. But, there is a little catch to this Thomas. If you look at the face here, you can see that he has white pupils in his eyes. So yep, that is the special thing about this Thomas. So, if you want a Thomas face that has little white dots in his pupils, then go get the Cave Collapse set for this special Thomas that has white pupils in his eyes. But yeah, that was Thomas. Whoop! And now, let's look at Darcy here. So, first off, let's get the obvious thing out of the way. This Darcy is not accurate to the show. If it was accurate to the show, this calf would be like right about here-ish. Not joking, it would be right about here-ish. Also, this thing wouldn't look like this. It would look more like the drill that came with Gina. But yeah, we have to deal with what we get sadly. It's called you get what you get and you don't draw a fit. So either way, now let's get a closer look. So here's the front. And here's her sticker face, which is sad. And then here's her her extra drills, which aren't even painted or detailed, which is sad. And here's her side, and her treads aren't even detailed, which is sad. Here's her back, which is pretty much nothing, of course. Here's her other side, which has her nameplate and a door. But, but what's on this side? Nothing! Sad! And yeah, there's like pretty much no detail on this thing. So, after this review is over, I am going to super fi detail this Darcy up. To look epic. Just like it does in the show. So, yeah. That's Darcy. And now, it's like the last thing, it comes with four boulders. Yeah. And these boulders are exactly the same as the ones that come with the uh, Mad Dash on Sodor um, and the Volcano Blast. So, yeah. That's the boulders. So now that we looked at all the characters and things, let's look at the set itself. So first, let's look at this ginormous towering thing here. So down in the corner here, we have an armored helmet and some treasure and a uh, Roman palace hole thing. And this thing have a statue of like some Roman, a sword and a armored chest plate and some more coins and things. Then all over this thing, you have like broken pieces of ancient Roman palace and other ancient Roman details to justify that this is Italy. Also never noticed this, but there's like this arch here. And there's like more poles and some step ladder that goes all the way up behind here. It's a pickaxe, a rope, some rocks, a lamp, a little gear that is I'm guessing supposed to look like it connects up to this gear. It has like lots of little cracks and details on it. And then over here we have Oliver the Excavator on this huge rock formation with more ancient Roman palace piers and things. Then we have these gates that stop Thomas from flying out. Then if we move over to the other side of the playset, we have Esther. With Oliver's face! Factory error! Not a factory error, it's, it's 
it's my Mattel's fault. And yeah. And some more ancient Roman palace pieces. And here we have Jack, the front loader, and some another lamp and a hole for rescuing Thomas just in case he falls down into here when this thing isn't down, although that will never happen due to the fact it falls down by itself. And here we have Gina in this little mine tunnel. Then we have some more ancient Roman palace parts and another step ladder and another pickaxe and another rope and a lizard. And some other things like grass pipes and something there. And then up here we have... Was it? Yeah, it's Monty dumping some trucks. I mean, rocks. <laughs> dumping trucks. That would be weird. Either way. Then there's a danger sign for falling rocks. Then, yeah. And then on the other side, we get this, like, ancient Roman house thing. Italian house. And then, yeah. So that's the whole mountain piece. Either way, if we move down here, first let's look at this piece. It has, like, wood details on it on both sides and then if we move down this piece it has like wooden details on it and things like that and if we move down to this tunnel piece you can see there's more ancient roman palace poles another lamp another lizard another pickaxe um another lamp a shovel and a pickaxe um, no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's something from Indiana Jones. Or a magnifying glass. No, it's gotta be that pole that shines light from Indiana Jones. Where the one they found in the mine. Yeah, so, Indiana Jones reference, just like in the special. But this pole never appeared in the special. It was more like a uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark special. Uh... Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, Easter egg reference or something. But either way, that was a look at all the, uh, extra little trickety bits. Oh, and there are also a few crates on this side. So either way, how do you set the setup? First, you put the boulders in here, this section here. You just lock Darcy into here, like that. And you get Thomas, set him down here, and you set him up, and then he gets stuck, like that. You shall have to crank them up, and as you crank them up, the boulders will start falling. And when Thomas gets to the top, he'll take off, land into Darcy, and he'll, he and Darcy will travel around and bust the boulders out of the way. And sometimes he'll get stuck, but if he does get stuck here, you just press the tab and he'll get free. Like that. And remember how I said the boulders from all those sets were the same? Here's a boulder from the lava, from the volcano drop set. I, I do have the boulders from the, uh, um, uh, Mad Dash on Shore, but I don't know where it is at the moment. But I also have a barrel. And I have tried it with a barrel before, and it does work. So we're going to have these two things, plus two boulders from the original set go on this thing. All right, the boulders and barrels are now falling down. Thomas has traversed into Darcy. And the barrel has seemed to fly off. But there you saw the boulder from the volcano drop worked. So yeah, now that I took a look at this set, what are my final thoughts of this set? So, my final thoughts of this set is that it's a... Um, 9.5 out of 10. Just because of Darcy and how she doesn't have many details and that she needs a lot more. Yeah. Also, yeah, that's like the only reason it's bad. Now, we are going to run all the Digs and Discoveries engines on this playset. In 3, 2, 1, go. I actually take back the rating I just said. Uh because I forgot to do two more tests uh, with the set. 10 new engines and Tommy slash Trackmaster 1 engines. So I'll do that right now. So we're gonna try Lorenzo on this set. So we'll go up, his tender starts dangling, 
and he seems to get jagged. Actually, the tender gets jagged on this piece, and then disasters happen everywhere. Like, the tender gets hooked onto the track. Yeah. So, tender engines do not work on this set. Anyway, now let's try a Tommy engine. Okay, so this engine is like the closest one to me, and it's Steven, so we're just gonna take off his tender and see how he does. So, he does get stuck in the mountain, and he will go up, but will he activate Darcy? He gets caught on a trigger, but his wheels are not even remotely close to where Darcy is. I mean, th th they would have. These were so close to working on this set. Th this is sad. This was the closest we've ever gotten since uh, Avalanche Escape to where a classic Trackmaster engine works on a Trackmaster 2 set. That is a shame. Boomer tell. So yeah, I changed the rating to an 8 out of 10. And now we shall move on to the running session in 3, 2, 1, go.
time to show you the OP strategy to getting rid of the boulders. So yeah, that was my that was your run. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you didn't leave a like, um comment on my Discord and don't forget to subscribe if you did. And this is Hunter Tube saying thanks for watching. Bye for now. And the next video will be on. Welcome back. I like I'm talking.